NPC Renaissance tutorial. Today's topic is going to show you how to create your own chord, chord progressions, which is a new feature in the 1.8.2 update. Um, in addition, you can also share your own your chord progressions. I'm going to show you how to create and delete your custom chord progression. So, um, how you create it is real simple. You load up your VST. Um, click or go and go. Okay, that's four chords. Um, so you type in the ones that you want to do, then you go convert to progression. And as you can see, um, it automatically reads the, the chords that you was playing. So if you want to name them or whatever, you can demo them and everything. So, um, for this one, I'm just going to push NPC. I'm going to call it NPC. Um, and it automatically saves... Um, to your user. It's a chord progression. You got two chord progression folders. Um, one one is for the basic um, chord progression that came with it and another one is for your user um, chord progressions, your custom one. So I'm going to hit do it. Now I'm going to go to um, the pad mode and hit progressions and bring up NPC. Um, yeah, under chord type, under progressions, whatever you named it, just go under that and it'll save under that. I, I chose NPC. And here go my NPC custom chord progression. That's how you pretty much do it. Um, hopefully, a kind will, you know, have a feature where you can, you know, you, that you can add. Have a feature that you can add your chord progressions. Because um, right now you can't really add. And I'll say if I want to do, if I want to add some more chords to it, I would have to, re, you know, do that same process over instead of just adding to my add to this progression so hopefully Akai if you're out there listening please add that feature also add a feature so we can just put chords you know on on banks you know um, hopefully that's coming soon you know so Akai please step that up um, but that's pretty much how you really do it um, and to access your custom chord progression I'll say if you wanted to, to you know delete it or whatever you can go over here if you're on a Mac, the quickest way to go is to the the user library. Um, hit option, go to go, hit option, and there it is. You want to go to that library. And you'll find your custom uh, core progressions. You go to application support. You go to Kai, NPC, and you hit progressions. Now, these are my custom core progressions, the ones that I just made. I like hear NPC right here. And you have to go under your user library to access this and to delete them. Um, if you go just to, you know the basic way, you're going to get the the ba the basic chord progressions that came with it. Progressions and see these are my basic ones, so you don't want to really go to this one. You want to go. To your user library, not the uh, your application library. So, ho hopefully, Akai, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come out with an expansion where you can just delete them easily instead of going through all that, you know what I'm saying, trouble or whatever. So, um, that's pretty much how you do it. You know, it's plain and simple. 
easy to follow. So, got more tutorials coming up. You know, thanks to all my subscribers out there. I hope y'all out there making some hits. I hope to hear some hits from y'all. Um, and, you know, man, if y'all if y'all don't have the NPC right now, man, you definitely got to get it. You got to get it. You got to get it, man. Peace.